okay we are uh, ready to do our first program so let's go ahead and uh, uh, start with the very fresh view here and uh, then click on add objects and uh, click on the, the, the by default should come up with this local gallery uh, sometimes it may remember the previous where you were and it may show that too okay so let's add coach coach is under people uh, so go ahead click on people directory and uh, coach okay click on coach click on add instance to the world okay so we have added the coach go back to gallery click on that click on animals and uh, click on penguin add instance to world okay so we have added a couple of objects so let's uh, let's uh, make this object easy to work with so move this that way turn the turn the coach turn the penguin little bit and make them bigger make this guy bigger okay so click on this and just uh, drag and uh, move the mouse it will make it bigger right okay and maybe move this guy a little bit back okay so that is our scene setup and uh, you can see the student is watching the coach and we are ready to do some exercise okay now that we are ready to code let's make this little bit smaller so that we have more coding area okay so we want uh, this coach uh, to do some exercise we are hoping that penguin will follow right okay so you can see the if you can expand this and uh, see various parts and everything okay so now let's uh, make our coach do some work you know, so let's see upper body coach upper body you have to drag and drop it here you know so so here you drag press and drag it here and drop it here this is the coding area so immediately it asks you what you want to do with upper body turn forward little bit you know so 0 0.05 or something like that that's okay i guess or 0 0.15 yeah how about that 0 0.15 if it doesn't appear just click on other and type in 0 0.15 okay so that is just one line program okay so let's go ahead and run why not that's just a one line program when you play there you go okay so that's the beauty of alice anytime our code is ready to run okay so now let's see the coach hands where is coach hands below the upper body click on that plus sign next to the upper body and you can see left arm right arm okay left arm um, turn right I think quarter revolution you can test it out here too so you don't even need to add here how about we test it out left arm turn right quarter revolution see that's good right okay so left arm Turn right quarter revolution again you can also add it here play it and then worry about it that's fine too right arm turn right quarter revolution I don't know that's correct let's we'll find out okay so you can see right arm should take a left turn left to, so all you have to do is just click here change it to left so that's a program that has a three steps okay so now let's see what our uh, penguin wants to do okay penguin wants to do i'm just going to do something here dragging head and a turn right little bit point one head turn left little bit point two 
and uh, head turned right point one again okay and then you do penguin i want penguin uh, you soon understand why i'm doing all this uh, penguin turned right uh, quarter revolution maybe a little bit less 0.15 okay and let's see what happens so penguin is not so obedient after all okay so i can make it a little bit more fancy the penguin head turning and all that i can change this to a little bit quick by default everything takes one second okay every step takes one second let's make this very quick you know you don't turn your head like that right we make it very quick right so let's make the duration point one seconds and now let's see what happens so there are sequence of steps right so this guy this guy says, you know, I am not interested in doing the same thing. I want to just turn, you know, that's the exercise for the penguin. So that's a sequence of steps. Uh, the, the, this is a so fundamental thing in the programming. Pro, uh, first uh, concept in programming is a sequence of steps. Okay, so I can play again. So step by step, this is progressing, right? So that's our first program. Well, um, that is our first program, but this animation doesn't look very appealing, the, particularly for the coach, right? Coach, these things, typically we expect those things to happen together, right? Right <coughs> for that purpose. Here is the, the bottom, you have the do together structure. You can drop, and drop it there, anywhere actually, and uh, anywhere uh, uh, near these three lines, drag and dra drop those three lines inside. So now we have these three lines, uh, they will not be done in sequence, they'll be done together. Right, so you can press this restart button for that happen. That looks very fancy, right? Very realistic and very fancy. Okay, but this coach requires a lot more exercise than just once, isn't it? So he's just stopping with one exercise. So we want him to do a lot more. So let's go ahead and make him do lots more. Well, for that, right there is the loop. So you can do, you can drop it anywhere. Uh, anywhere, whenever there's a green thing appears, you can drop. So, but don't drop it inside the do together, okay? Uh, because we want the do together to be inside the loop, right? Loop infinity. Now press and drag it here. Press here, drag it inside, press here, drag it inside, press. So you do all that. Then now, now how does the code looks? Loop infinity times so this thing will happen. Let's go ahead and play this. Okay, doing the exercise. Whoa, whoa. So that's what happens when, uh, uh, when you do something without thinking that's okay you know this is supposed to be fun you know so a bit unrealistic but hey this is a real, not a real, real world right it's a virtual world so have some fun okay so it is looping and looping and looping it's doing okay so let's uh, make this uh, more realistic so how do we make this realistic well Pretty simple. You make a copy of these things. You can kind of make a copy of the whole thing and maybe remove. Um, let's make a copy of this. Okay, right there. And uh, move it down. Then make a copy of this. Actually, penguin need not do anything, isn't it? So we'll just leave the penguin as it is. Um, if you want, I guess you can make a penguin just move right alone, I guess. So, okay. So now the coach alone will reverse it, right? Do all the actions, click here, and uh, all the forward becomes backward, left becomes right, right becomes left. Now let's play it again. Okay. 
so now the coach uh, does the forward movement and then uh, coach back goes back okay so that looks a lot more realistic um, okay so the, he doesn't go down at all and anything okay so again what did we achieve we did uh, multiple statements sequence of statements for animation purpose for realism purpose we managed to put multiple statements together and treat it as a one block in parallel uh, action and bunch of statements together we were able to repeat it again and again and again that's the loop structures that is also another very fundamental concept in programming sequence and loop structures uh, are uh, really uh, two pillars of programming one more uh, item is the if statements which we will cover later thank you